So this video is going to be about bottom-up and top-down controls. So a bottom-up control is going to be a model in which the mineral nutrients is going to influence the organization of a community by controlling plant and phytoplankton numbers. And based on the amount of plants and phytoplankton, that's going to control the number of herbivores. And then the number of herbivores will in turn control the number of predators. And so basically what the bottom-up control um, system is suggesting is that it all starts at the bottom of the uh, food chain, bottom of the trophic uh, pyramid with the amount of minerals available in an environment because that will influence how many plants or phytoplankton can survive, which will determine how many organisms at each uh, trophic level above that would also be able to survive. So for example, uh, if you added minerals to stimulate plant growth, then you would have uh, higher trophic levels increasing in biomass as well because the extra minerals would uh, cause extra plants to grow and then you would be able to support more herbivores which could support more predators. And so basically top down, top down control is the opposite of bottom up control. And so in this model the thing that's going to influence community organization is predation. So that st starts at the highest trophic level. And so predation is going to influence the number of herbivores and then the number of herbivores is going to influence how many plants and phytoplankton there are and then that is going to control how much nutrients are left in the uh, community. So again it's basically the exact opposite of bottom-up control so you start at the top and the activity at the at the top is going to influence the activity at all of the lower levels. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in this video will be true no matter what biology class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services in our tutoring center, which is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building. You will find all the details you need about these services on our website, which is www.baylor.edu forward slash tutoring. You can schedule a free 30-minute one-on-one tutoring session online or just drop in during any of our business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you!